Dear students, let us take up a problem on estimation of a building by central line method. This is a VTU problem. Let us solve it. Uh, notice that two sketches are given. Uh, first sketch is the plan and second sketch is the section. Uh, so to ease uh, in understanding of the problem, initially draw the excavation plan which is shown separately. To begin with, name the center lines of main walls like uh, in the x direction namely a a b b c c etc and in the z direction it is 1 1 2 2 etc excavation line is shown in as dotted there are two rooms in the plan with the doors and windows the cross section of wall is given at the bottom of the plan plan the thickness of wall is equal to 0.3 meter which you can notice in the labeling of the sketch width of excavation is marked at the bottom of the section as one meter depth of excavation below the ground level is equal to sum of the three heights that is uh, the bed concrete the first footing and sec second footing is equal to sum of 0 0.2 plus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.4 is equal to 1.2 meter ceiling height is equal to three meter that is the height of the wall from the floor to the ceiling slab slab thickness mentioned as 0.15 meter height of parapet wall is above the roof slab is equal to 0.9 meter the footing consists of uh, footing one and footing two with uh, a different uh, width and thickness schedule of openings also given the size of door d1 is equal to one meter width by 2.1 meter height size of main door D is equal to 1.2 meter wide by 2.1 meter height and size of window is there are two numbers of windows uh, in the plan and its size is 1.8 meter wide into 1.2 meter height let us calculate the center line length note that the size of the room one is 8 meter into 4 meter size of room 2 is equal to 8 meter and 5 meter shown in the plan now do the go to the calculation part of the central line method center line center to center length of center line a is equal to 0.3 by 2 plus 8 plus 0.3 by 2 is equal to 8.3 meter 0.3 by 2 is half the width of the wall at the left end 8 meter is the size of the room in x direction and again 0.3 by 2 is the width of the width of the wall at the right hand therefore it is called as center to center length of the center line similarly center to center line length of center line b that is same as that of a because both are having the same length is equal to 8.3 meter center to center length of center line c is also same as center line a that is equal to 8.3 meter now take the wall in the z direction that is center to center length of center line 1 is equal to 0.3 by 2 plus 5 plus 0.3 plus 4 plus 0.3 by 2 is equal to 9.6 meter look at the calculation the 0.3 by 2 at the left is half the width of the wall 5 meter is the dimension of the room 2 in z direction 0.3 is the thickness of the middle wall 4 meter is the dimension of the room 2 it is room 1 in z direction and the 0.3 by 2 is half the width of the wall at the extreme bottom total it becomes 9.6 meter center to center length of center line 2 is same as that of the 1 is equal to 9.6 meter add all these center lines therefore total center line length is equal to 44.1 meter count the number of t junctions in the plan so this, the given plan is very simple there are two t junctions t junction is the one where two walls intersect at right angles corner of the room is not referred as t junction Okay. in the plan there are two numbers of t junctions similarly to estimate the quantity of parapet wall 
total central length of parapet wall is also calculated. In the section, you can notice that parapet wall is built in line with the outer of the building. Note down the expression to calculate the length of the center line. It is given as length of center line of given item is equal to total length of center line minus n into half the breadth of the item, where n is equal to number of T junctions. Now look at the remark column of the detailed estimate table. For example, for the item 1, that is earthwork in excavation, length of center line L is equal to 44.1 minus 2 into half into 1 is equal to 43.1 meter. Here, 2 is the number of T junctions and 1 meter, 1.0 meter is the breadth of excavation. For further items like foundation, masonry, superstructure wall, DPC, etc., the number of T junctions remains same, whereas width of those items will be different and appropriately substituted in calculating their quantities. Initially, quantities of various items are determined using detailed estimate table. Cost calculation is done using abstract estimate table. The format of detailed estimate uh, is as follows. Item number, particulars, number, length, breadth, depth, quantity and remarks. Item 1, earthwork in excavation for foundation in ordinary soil. The length, breadth, depth dimensions are referred from the sketch given. The length calculation for the excavation is shown in the remark column of the table, width and depth of excavation obtained from the section sketch given. Item 2, cement concrete bed. Length of bed concrete is same as length of excavation because bed concrete is placed at the bottom of the excavation for the full width. Thickness of bed concrete is 0.2 meter which is given in the section. Item 3, size stone masonry for footing and basement. There are three quantities here. Footing 1 with the thickness of 0.7 meter. Footing 2 with a width of 0.5 meter. And basement or plinth having width of 0.4 meter. All the three quantities are totaled to get the total quantity of size stone masonry. Item 4, burn brick masonry for superstructure. Here, first of all, the masonry quantity is worked out for the full height of the wall, assuming the walls are solid without openings. Next, the total quantity of deduction for openings, including the lintels, are done. Later, the net quantity is calculated as a difference of fold quantity minus the deduction quantity. Item 5, roof slab. Roof slab is provided for the full area of the building which is rectangular in plan. The outer to outer dimension of the building is obtained from the plan and thickness of slab is obtained from the section sketch that is equal to 0.15 meter. Coming to the abstract estimate part, abstract estimate is done to calculate the total cost of the building. The tabular format is different for abstract estimate. The third column, that is the quantity, is copied from the detailed estimate table. Separate rates are given in the problem statement for each item, which is entered in the rate column. Amount is equal to product of quantity into rate. Total amount is calculated and entered at the bottom of the table. And to this total, add 3% for contingencies and 2% for work charge establishment and the grand total is calculated. This ends the problem. Good luck. In the next problem, we shall take up a bigger building plan. Thank you.